Okay, so, so I was gonna do a tutorial on how to do spears. So I just found this big old stick. It was already half knocked off the branch that it was on. I chose one that's sort of straight, that way it's easier to throw if that's what you're gonna be doing with it. And uh, chopped off the other part of the end so that it's a little shorter and more manageable. And looks like Cable's gonna be helping me out with this one in the red part. All right, so first thing you gotta do is make sure the dog is not in the way. Hey, come here, bud. Scooch out of the way, bud. I get off all these smaller sticks on the side that'll make it harder to pass through your hands when you're gonna throw it. And you can decide which end is gonna have the spear part on it. I usually prefer to use the heavy end, that way it's already weighted. It's gonna go in a straight line when you throw it. And come here, out of the way, boy. So pretty much what I do is I get the knife up here. I wanna put a nice big wedge in it without hurting the dog or myself. See, that was close. All right, so I'm gonna have to start again. Worst case scenario, I end up with a big hole in my thigh, but hopefully that won't be the case. There we go. See how it's split like that? Going down to the end there. That's what we want. Now this one, the wood is a bit old, a little brittle, so it doesn't look like it's gonna split much more than that, but I'm gonna see if I can get this one side to go a little more. That way we have a three-pronged spear instead of just two. That. No, that does not look like it's gonna work. All right, so we'll just work with what we got right here. Pretty much we have these two parts, like this. I'm gonna take another stick like this, break it down a bit, and then wedge it on in here so that it holds these two parts open like that. Now, one thing I always encourage people to do is travel around with a bit of twine, which I got right here. This stuff comes in handy for all sorts of things, everything from fire building to securing shelter and food. So, you're always pretty much set. I'm pretty much just gonna start off with just tying a simple knot around here because it's gonna be wrapped around multiple times. Don't really need to worry about it coming off. This is just to secure this little piece in place and to put some pressure down here so that this part stays open and won't break. Just gonna start going around like that. Come up around this side. Make sure it's nice and tight. So it won't break. I need to tie it off. Just like that. Take the other end. Tie it multiple times. Don't need to do any fancy knots. Just get it nice and tight, call it good. Cable over there is intent on destroying my spear before I even get a chance to use it. All right. So this is pretty much what we have. Got nice points on it. And if you spear, spear a fish with this thing, gonna get right in here or on one of these points you really won't be able to go anywhere these things are also really really handy for catching crawdads just put it right over the carapace of the shell and then pinch it down and hold it there and this part just picks it up like it's a pair of tongs so works really well you know nice big piece cable it go but and yeah set to go